Bro, I'm dancing. seeing dance moves, I'm seeing twists and turns. Wagwan, brother. Wait, well, you're looking fly. Mm -hmm. Thanks, 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 Charlie. Oh, oh man. Oh, you should true. become a stylist <laughs> or something. You should, like, you. have conferences, you I know, beg, beg, or stay fly. I beg you, I beg you, I beg Is it you. difficult to stay fly all the time? Charlie. Because, you know, NM just said, oh, so it's not just on social media. It's like fly every day. Oh, bro. <laughs> we did try, we did try. I mean, God God has been good to us. Amen, so, you amen. know, like, we're just, we're just trying our best. And I love the fact that I'm evolving. Like, every time Mr. Dreams evolving, like, if you compare to my three years, four years ago, yeah, it wasn't yeah. like that's that. growth, right? Yeah, yeah. so yeah. that'd be how. But how have you been though, bro? Bro, I've been because you've been everywhere. You've been traveling, making I've music. I've been sweet, Charlie. I just, I just be enjoy life. How's yeah. wife? Yeah. Eh? On that net, we are going to continue eh. the conversation. <laughs> First guy who ever made Mr. Do like that, huh? Eh? I did that. Eh? Um, please send us messages. <laughs> MX in Four TV. Hashtag ZMX Live. Yeah, man. Bro, you've been up to so much. Charlie. Now, today, you coming. The first thing I said I was going to ask you, unfortunately, we don't have too much time. Yeah. And it's a very interesting question I'm going to ask somebody who's been successful in yeah. the field, right? Yeah. Are you where you want to be right now? Because. Nah. nah. Right? Nah. And, and the reason why it's very interesting for me is everyone will see Mr. Dean and say, he's doing everything. Yeah. So, like, you're on the TGMA stage. Yeah. You're killing it. Yeah. And for you to say, nah, I'm not where I want to be. Yeah. Why do you think, or why do you tell us you're not where you want to be? Do you feel like you have more to do? Yeah. I, for me, I feel like it's just the tip of the iceberg. And then there's supposed to be more, right, from Mr. Mm -hmm. Drew. And I'm, I know that I'm capable of doing more. And it's not being, you like put out there enough, mm -hmm. one, even with the small that I'm doing, it's not being seen like that, you know, that the way it's supposed to be appreciated, it's not even appreciated mm. like that. And secondly to, um, it has to do with fans, right? Because mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. you're doing something that is big like this, yeah. and then you want to put it out there on some level all the time, in it ha even that one time where you do like, a big one and everybody seen like the TGMAs. Yeah. A lot of fans went into preparation, everything. Yeah. So imagine yeah. you're doing that on a bigger scale where you're jumping on every big stage and yeah. then you're doing traveling. Giving imagine giving like <laughs> that amount of performance, yeah. like that that energy and everything, like the impact and everything with your dancers, like the crew, everything. Yeah. It's cost intensive. Very you understand. I can so, imagine. Yeah, Mr. Drew hasn't done what what I feel like I can do. You're seeing Chris Brown do a lot, you see? Yeah. Yeah, so I think that that's the level where I should be right now. So I've, yeah. I haven't done enough for myself. But you're an independent myself. artist right oh, now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you're doing your best, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm like trying. Like, you're trying, I'm bro. I'm trying, honestly. Trying. Have any record, new record labels tried to reach out to you? Because I, I won't be surprised. <laughs> um, I think recently I got one. Uh -huh. No, I, we had had a talk Okay. in the past years, but, okay. you know, they came back again and were like, oh, um... Right now, we, we have one slot for, for to focus on more on the artist. Okay. Like a new artist now. Okay. So, what was your mind? Because now they don't have one artist there. So Multiple yeah, artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, th there's a slot there, basically. Yeah. yeah but uh, I'm still thinking about it. I'm yeah, still thinking about it. I get that. It. I mean, like you're saying, a lot goes into what you yeah. do, right? The creative process. Yeah. So you need that attention and exactly. focus if someone's exactly. going to invest in yeah, 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 exactly. That makes so sense. So I'm very, very careful with who I sign with okay. moving forward. Okay. You know, like Charlie, because they work big. It's yeah. not just me. It's not just what you see right now. It's what we are capable of, what is going to come out of the talent, yeah. right? And it's big. It's a big Bro, there's a lot that goes into Today, I was talking to my team, right? And we're talking about artists traveling because yeah. now that's so expected. Bro. And we're looking at ticket prices online it's crazy. For just to travel, right? It's crazy. It's, and some of us even improvise. Like, we have to, like, um, try and then compromise and then mm -hmm. go with just one person or, like, just one p person from our team. Usually you have to go with the whole team. Yeah. Um, if it's dancers, you have to go with your dancers too. But Charlie, it's hard, it's hard, yeah. it's, it's crazy. Some of the promoters can't always fly, like the, even yeah. the whole team. Sometimes yeah. they just want to fly the artist yeah. and then the, the manager. So it's quite... Bro, it's, it's quite a lot. Um, looking at your growth as an artist, right, mm -hmm. you've become very open along the way. Yeah. I wouldn't use the word honest because somebody can be quiet and still be <laughs> honest. <laughs> but you've become very open, right, <laughs> in terms of, you know, let's, let it be what it is, you know, yeah. stuff that's on your chest, yeah. stuff you think the industry needs to know. Mm -hmm. Um, during this time of you being more open, yeah. do you think it distracts from the music or that honesty takes away from what you're doing creatively? And for example, recently you spoke about the TGMAs, yeah. why you felt like you deserved the award. Yeah. We all saw those interviews. Mm -hmm. And when you say stuff like that, it's not necessarily going against certain mm -hmm. artists, yeah. but the narrative of, 
oh, Mr. Drew said maybe he deserves this mm. more than the next person. Mr. Bru Drew said he's the best. Yeah. Mr. Bru Drew, right now, he yeah. said he deserves more. He should be the only one on the label. Yeah. <laughs> so being open, when you look back at these things and how the narratives are driven, mm -hmm. do you feel like, oh, man, maybe I'm being a bit too open? Or do you think it's necessary for the industry we're in? Um, I've, I think I've come to learn that you just need to speak your mind. That's all. And free yourself. The more you, you speak and then you say things that are on your chest, you, you become very free. Because, mm. Charlie, as I mean, I talk that in me, I make free. I don't mind what is somebody <laughs> good. Because honestly, the, yeah. the, on, the people want honesty. Yeah, they, they do. They just want you to be clear with them. Ah, Charlie, the, the guy, they talk in mind. <laughs> and that's how it's supposed to be. And they will love you for it. Those who love you, they'll love you for it. And so for me, I've come to learn that, yo, just talk your mind. What you feel, just say it. Because already the work is hard. If you're keeping yeah. things on your chest, it might mess up your whole creative process. Mm. It might mess up your emotions. And then you actually be blaming somebody for something they haven't done. So mm. just say what you feel. If you feel like you deserve something, say it. It doesn't mean that it's, at the end of it, you go and fight. So yeah. You're just saying it. And then that's it. You've Do some it. artists take this personal, not mentioning any names? <laughs> like, have you come across as like, Charlie, bro, right? <laughs> I mean, you don't forget that one. You don't forget. For real. But I mean, I don't make you know this. I mean, I talk my mind. You talk your mind. So you need to talk. If you don't feel some way, you need to talk your mind. Move, move, move. Man, that's yeah. That's how it should that's be. That's interesting. But then at the end of the day, it, 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 it shouldn't go beyond uh, any disrespect or disrespecting mm. anybody or and. I, you know, when you free your mind, just make sure it has some limits. Like, yeah. you know, they disrespect yeah. anybody, you know, they insult yeah. anybody or make somebody feel yeah. some type of way. I yeah. get that. Um, new music. Mm -hmm. Is that your first single this year? Sneaky, yeah. 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 Six months in. Yeah. Some fans might be like, oh, bro, what's going on? <laughs> or do you look at it from a business point where your last song was doing so good, mm -hmm. you just let it sit with the fans longer? How are you looking at it? Um, Charlie, sometimes... The song <laughs> big is it, it, it's so big you can't just release a song right after. Okay. You just have to let it breathe, let it soak in into into people's bodies and souls and minds, yeah. and then they can't let go go of it at all. Cause with, uh, Case just hit three million views on YouTube. Sheesh. Three million organic views. Like I didn't promote that thing on nothing. Yeah. It just it just like organic. It just did this yeah. thing, and I'm not happy. I'm saying I didn't promote it as mm -hmm. in like put it on sponsorship and stuff. But it's something you need to be doing. I'm just saying, like, it is it, what it, it is. Did, it, it did what it, it did had what to. It had to do. Yeah, and, more and it's still unexpected. doing it. So yeah. yeah, like, when it comes, like, you don't have to rush it. Just take your time. Make the song do it. Nah, make it good. Okay. Then you two go relax. They plan. It gives you more time. And that's why we have hit songs. Somebody can literally feed off like their hit songs from like. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. what, and that's how it is outside the country. Yeah. People be feeding off their hit songs, one time hit songs, then they they, are, they turn big artists. Yeah. Forget that they go tour and <laughs> since. Imagine Water by yeah, Tyler. Yeah. She's everywhere. She's everywhere. With right? that song, make me everywhere. One song, but yeah, you go play like fifty. <laughs> you go play like fifty hit songs, then it's still there. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. And I'm was saying something very similar to this. <laughs> and in reference to that, when you're dropping a new song. Does Mr. Drew go like, oh, bro, I have to drop another case? Not the same song, mm -hmm. but a song as big as that song. Does that resonate in your mind? Do you think about these things? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because of the industry. Definitely. Right? But um, at the same time, I don't want to... I, I, I see every song as an entity. Or a, a, it has its own personality, and then it has mm, okay. its own vibe, right? Okay. So even though I have the idea of, oh, I want to make another big song, I don't, comp I don't do the comparison. I don't do... I want to do it like Kiss. Nah, nah, okay. nah, nah, nah. Usually it's like, the song for be good. Okay. And then for, the people just need to love it. Sometimes the song wouldn't be as big mm -hmm. around that time. Later, you go feel can't make big. So yeah. I, I think I've understood all these things. Mm. And so for me, when I'm releasing, is it good? Is it sweet? Do I enjoy it? <laughs> that be all. That be all I did. Right? Yeah. I mean, that's very interesting, right? Coming from, again, successful mm -hmm. artists because... Mm -hmm. Interestingly enough, whether it is the Times or what, we're judged based off numbers, yeah. right? You drop the next song, oh, Case did three million. Yeah. What's the next one? Is it going to do five yeah. or ten or fifty? Yeah. I, I think we're just caught in those times. Yeah. Do it's you think true. that the has numbers. taken away from how good the music is now? Tell the it. numbers? Tell it. Yeah, sometimes. I think that it's 50 50, mm. right? It has taken away some type of like, you know, now people are saying, oh, now it's not about your talent again. It's, yeah. it's more about the numbers. Yeah. So yeah. if I. If I try and fix something and then I find a way to make the numbers plenty, you know, I farm the numbers, then I can yeah. use it to go and get some deal for one side. Yeah, but at the end of the day, you need to also watch the long term 
of it. Like, in the next 10 years, do you still want to go back and go listen to these songs? Mm. Like, if they play, say, oh, then I'll be big star then time. So if they play the songs, would you be proud of it? Yeah. You understand? Me too, I look at those things. So, yeah, okay. yeah you can change the numbers, okay. but is the song good? Next three, four years, we, when we're playing it, can we compare it to other sweet songs? Mm. Those things, I they look at that. So sometimes, if you do a song just for the numbers, sometimes if you do the song and then, you know that Charlie, this one, yeah, they put yeah. all, all your money into it, all you know, because it's so nice, it's so beautiful. And, like, you're putting money into, like, playing live instruments in the... Mm -hmm. Some of the songs you do, you are really, really invested yeah. into it. Okay. Some, too, you know, say, yeah, for the route, yeah. for the streets. <laughs> street. But, bro, either way, the music is doing well, Yeah, man. it's doing like, well, like... You know, an artist, a fellow artist might say, like, what's Mr. Dude doing bro. right? <laughs> so... Back to if you go, what if you do, right? If you go, if you go. Because the world, the music is flying. If we go, Charlie, we thank God. We thank God. <laughs> you know, the small, small prayers we they do. That's you good. You know, yeah. That's good. And That's good. those that pray for us too, their prayers are That's working. Good. And also, I feel like I'm kind of doing something different that nobody else is doing mm. in the whole of Africa. Or if not the whole of Africa, this side of Africa. Nobody's singing and dancing like Mr. Drew. So mm. for me... Um, yeah, it's something that sets me apart from everybody else. Okay. And I just, I'm just a nice person. I just love to be a nice person, right? Mm. I'm, uh, I energy, just, right? Yeah, like my energy, divide, I divide with everybody. And when you, when you see Mr. Drew on stage, you go fall in love. And that's one thing about me. You don't need, yeah. even need to know my music before mm. you come to my show. Come to my show, you go fall in love. Yeah. Yeah, so for me, Charlie. Any concerts this year? Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. Um... We're looking at some some concerts. I'm looking at a regional tour. Wow. Actually, yeah. Then next year we'll, we'll wow. take it to yeah, because I don't see people doing it that much. Yeah, that, that's why that's why like I'm in awe. Like we don't see that. Yeah, we right? don't see that. So I'm looking at a regional tour. Okay. Um, and give people a feel of my performance. Like and yet say will be a bookie and I'm performing. And then mm -hmm. you know the type of performances you would see on the TGM stage. That's what I want to give to people because it, it's not everybody that will be able to come to the center, conference center to come and watch, right? And sometimes you have to see face to face. Bro, I'm just those. proud of you, man. Bro, you know? I just, I just want to do things. Since way understand? back, bro, talking Blessed. and seeing the growth Blessed. of an artist is, is great to see. So this new song, man, how's it doing? I mean, we it's doing great. It's doing, I mean, <laughs> you have to ask the artist, right? Well, the the ladies carry on, so yeah, they carry on for TikTok. It's doing great. Bro, have so you nice, seen nice the havoc? Ladies. Artists like Omale and Chris have been Charlie, causing of late Charlie. stealing people's girls. Do you, do you get that sometimes? Like, oh, Mr. Drew, man, you say, say, you're a girl, man. <laughs> Does that happen? The boys for the group inside say, I just <laughs> steal my girls, but. <laughs> we get in trouble, bro. We mean, we mean. I don't steal anybody in girl, do. Okay. Yeah. That, that's good to know. Yeah, Because yeah, yeah. I asked him how wifey was. I didn't get an answer to I that. I don't steal anybody Maybe girl. three months if from now. If I post your girl, no me say, I, I steal them. No, no, me say, you still yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, I'm proud of you, man. So um, that's a visualizer. I'm a dance are we going to get official yeah. one or are we going to wait till the um, next single? The dance video is the official video. That's official all. Video. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, when are we going to get the next single? Okay, so Sneaky is actually off my upcoming album, or let's say EP, because the song's plenty on Bro, so I'm me, I so want sorry. I want, I want to drop some of this. Bro, <laughs> I'm so sorry to cut you. We spoke last two, three years. We yeah. spoke about an album. Yeah. And interesting enough, you're like, you know, when you drop albums, people don't really yeah. listen to the rest. And when I was speaking to him, I was like, ah, oh, bro, I don't even know if I'm going to drop an album again <laughs> because there's so many good songs. Thankfully <laughs> enough, we're going to get an album this year. Yeah, we're going to get it this, this year. This year? This year, yeah. Yeah, Lava Any Boy specifics? era. Any specifics? Lava Boy era. Um, it has seven songs on there. Okay. Right now, they are, I make certain about the songs. Okay. Seven songs on there, some amazing features, and okay. also, I feel like I do the singles, uh, so I for thank you. <laughs> finally, I'll finally, I for just put um, out some okay, sweet, so, sweet um, vibes. Date? Are we gonna get date now, or is um, that in the works? We're looking at end of this month or early what? Early August. Oh, yeah, that's man. nice. Yeah, man. Okay, yeah, man. Boy, so uh, Sneaky is the first song of the of the album. Or okay. project, and so there, there's, there's gonna be more. Okay, it's gonna be crazy. Trust okay. me. Okay. Okay. You go love him, lover boy. Era. I'm sure we will. Okay, yeah, so man. lover boy era. Yeah, Last man. question before you go: uh -huh. Are you in love, or are you just a playboy? <laughs> <laughs> I made this guy silent. He, he seems like silent. Thank you so much for coming through. Eh? <laughs> Thank you for having me. Are you gonna tell us? Are you? Uh, and uh, no. that question.
Bro, Are you a lover boy? Bro, come you? on, you see the name. I asked the question. <laughs> <laughs> I do have to let him go. Hey, Thank hey, you so hey, much hey, for tuning hey, in. Hey. Find his music, get the views up. Let's support her on. Buy the music. That's the number one way to support the artist. Can't wait to get that. Buy his music Bro. too. Yeah, I Stream have something new dropping. Hey, and hey, yeah. Let's go. Come let's on. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. Have a very wonderful afternoon, guys. Salute. I don't say we did too. We like, I'll be the darker version of me. <laughs> Flow